Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by BrandonJFX.com and this tutorial comes from a request by the photographer named Zach Unsell and his question was what are some simple techniques he can use to do some basic color toning on his image and he was even nice enough to provide me one of his images to try this technique on so that's the image you see up here on screen and the technique we're going to use is what's called a gradient map so to get started I'm just going to click on the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and click on gradient map and what a gradient map does is it gives you a gradient and all the colors that are on the left of the gradient will be toned to the shadows of the image and all the colors on the right of the gradient will be toned to the highlights of the image so if we click on the gradient it will open our gradient editor and you could play around with the with the colors here but as you can see I already have a preset made with the colors I want and if you look in the post below this video you will see two download links one with a action to basically run the entire color tone process with just one click and then another download will be just this gradient file so you can do a little more work so I'm just going to click on that preset that I have and as you can see it basically tones the whole image to some of it with darker brownish yellow color and the other parts of the image just the same color but lighter and the trick to this toning method is changing the blend mode so over here where it says normal I'm gonna click on that and these four blend modes right here are the ones you're gonna look at overlay soft light hard light and vivid light and if I just scroll through them you can see the different effects that they give vivid light is way too strong for this image but depending on your image you might need a different one so for this one it's looking like it's looking like hard light is going to be the one I want and it looks a little too strong so I'm just going to lower the opacity to somewhere around 75 and now since this is a lifestyle looking image I just want to add a little bit of contrast as well so I'm going to come down here to the add a uh, adjustment layer icon again and click on black and white and you can edit all these and since it's a warm image there's a lot of yellows so I just want to brighten those up and maybe drop the reds and that's about it and then I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer once again to soft light and that will just add a lot of contrast to the image but that is way too much for what I want so I'm just going to lower the opacity to somewhere around around 50 and if we toggle the contrast layer off and on as you can see it gives us a lot of contrast and that still might be a little too much so I'm gonna go down to somewhere around 40 that's better and if we hold our alt or option key on a Mac and press the eye next to the background layer it will show only that layer so it'll basically give us a before and after so I'm just gonna do that now and as you can see much better toned image and the tone might be a little too heavy still so I'm going to lower the opacity of that and I'm just going to go back and fine tune these uh, opacities a little bit and just to get what I need so there you have it simple and easy color toning in Photoshop hope you learned something and thanks again to Zach Unsell for providing me the image and for the tutorial request and be sure to check back here on the blog tomorrow because Zach Unsell was kind enough to do an interview for here on the blog so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.